Hi guys! Today I will be teaching you how to use a virtual camera as a VTuber. I will be going through how to use VTube Studio, virtual camera and OBS virtual camera. If you want to learn more about how to use your VTube Studio Sprout 2, which is required in order to use OBS's virtual camera, I've made a different tutorial right here. Go and check it out. You can learn, come back, and then you can continue. <clears throat> I will also link it down below. Let your brain grow with knowledge. At the end, I will show you how to use it on different platforms like Discord or Whoop Chat. Okay, now, what is virtual camera and what is it for? A virtual camera is basically a virtual camera that you can use instead of your webcam. And for VTubers, you can use your VTuber as your virtual camera. That applies to Discord, Zoom, or really any platform that uses a camera can use a virtual camera as well. But with WhoopChat specifically, you have to get it approved before you can use it. But the process does not take that long and you get approved quite quickly. I will begin with VTube Studio first. So to use VTube Studio virtual camera, go into this camera icon first, then scroll until you see virtual camera configuration click on the activate virtual webcam and if you want you can mirror it uh, that's what i like to do but it's not required and click on installation help then follow the steps and install it now to test if it works you go into your discord settings for example you go into camera and you select the vtube studio virtual camera that you just installed if it's installed correctly, right, you can test it as well here. So this is me testing it. <laughs> now, let me show you how the OBS virtual camera works. So as mentioned before, I have a full guide tutorial on how to install Sprout 2. So I would recommend you watch that one instead because it focuses fully on OBS and Sprout 2. If you already have Sprout 2, uh, then we can continue. First, go into your OBS. Now, when you have your Spout 2 installed, you will see it in OBS as like a full layer. You know, like usually when you stream, you have different layers. And this is your browser source Spout 2 layer. Here, you can select virtual camera button on controls. And this is like a common question. Hey, I don't see this button. In that case, please make sure to update your OBS and it should be right there. From now, once you clicked on OBS button virtual camera, you go into any platform that you want. I will use the example again of Discord. And you select OBS virtual camera instead of VTube Studio virtual camera. Now, which one to use? I personally recommend using the OBS Spout 2 route with your virtual camera because when you use, for example, WhoopChat, you can use this really cool background on it and you can adjust it through all different other extensions that you may use with your OBS like for example blurring the background or having a cool background or doing all the extra stuff that maybe VTube Studio alone cannot do but otherwise I think VTube Studio virtual camera works just as well and that in my opinion is kind of the only difference there is so use the one that fits you they are both really good. And to use your OBS virtual camera in WhoopChat, for example, you have to get approved, but the process does not take that long. And to select it, you go here. Then you click on the options and you go and look for your camera where you also have your microphone settings. And you select OBS virtual camera. And then it should show on the sign. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, like it and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. And bye for now. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.